In the game between two Indian players, Gukesh with black defeated Vidit. Uh, congratulations on your win. Uh, now, if uh, Jan Nepomniši is making a draw, then you will be sharing for first again. So how do you feel about that, first of all? How did you manage to overcome your loss in the previous round? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, coming back into uh, joint lead, I think it's uh, it's good. And But I'm just uh, happy. Happy that I played a good game and I came back to uh, the shape that I'm you know, supposed to be in. So, uh, yeah. so did you do anything special psychologically to uh, come back into the game and uh, forget about your loss? Well, I had uh, a rest day yesterday and uh, I tried to relax a bit, but uh, but yeah, it was, it was quite normal. I wasn't really, really super upset or anything. Uh, take us a little bit through the game. Uh, it seems like something went wrong for Vidit uh, already out of the opening. So, do you have an idea where where he he lost track? So after the say six, uh, he seemed to not know this move, and he started uh, spending a lot of time. But he made some, but he played some logical uh, moves: castle h six, a four, bishop c five, and. And yeah, uh, c3, rook e1, I mean, there are many moves. He, he decided to go for this, um, uh, you know, long-term structure with bishop e3 and just uh, just play this uh, position. But uh, I was... No, it's sorry. okay, I'll just move it a bit here. Okay. I was uh, quite happy when I spotted uh, c3, rook e8. I thought this was quite clever to, you know, provoke... Uh, B4 and then I take take bishop e6. Usually when when we get this uh, structure, you usually take with the pawn and it's okay. It's equal but okay. White is more pleasant. But mm -hmm. now I was able to take with the rook. So bishop e6, rook e6, and I thought I'm already fully equalized here. And uh, the first thing I he did I I was not sure about was b5 because he just gives me the c5 square. And if he wants to stop my knight to come from come to c5, he has to play d4. Mm -hmm. After which the e4 pawn is just a permanent weakness. So I don't know. Maybe he should have done something on the king side. But okay, after knight b8, I was already quite optimistic. And uh, yeah, I slowly started to outplay him. And also this queen e8 was very nice uh, because uh, he would like to play rook f1 to defend the e4 pawn, but a b a b rook a1. Mm -hmm. And then e4 would be hanging in there, so he yeah, had to so play. So you were keeping an eye both on a4, b5 pawns, and e4 with the same move. Yeah. yeah. And after rook a1, I got the a file. And okay, I mean, white is just completely paralyzed. The only idea I could see, which he did in the game, is knight h4, knight f5. But mm -hmm. okay, it shouldn't really work as I'm very solid and I have uh, just a positionally winning position. So h3, yeah, I mean, we made some normal moves. I, I guess the next critical moment was when he went for this knight h4. Uh, I mean, initially I was uh, kind of worried about, you know, knight h4, knight f5. Because mm -hmm. g6's point would be to go rook f1, king g7, queen e1, and okay, rook f6, queen f2, some tricks are there. But uh, I just spotted that after knight f5, I could just go king f8, and his queen can't come to the king side. So, and your king kind of uh, just defends itself, and this e7 yeah. square too, yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mainly the e7 square, but but yeah, after this, he he made some. Yeah, actually, I just missed this queen d3 was possible. I was only thinking about queen b2, but after queen d3, it was quite a shock to me. But luckily, it doesn't change the position a lot. And queen b4, okay, I get the a file permanently. I mean, he probably should stay passive with take take queen c2 or something and mm -hmm. hope that I don't break through. But okay, it's very hard to do that in a practical game. So he went for some and you know, complications. And also, Vidit cannot stay passive, we think. Eh? <laughs> He's Sorry? always... Vidit cannot stay passive. He's always, you know, playing some interesting chess, trying some ideas, so yeah. that's in his nature. Yeah, so he played c5 and yeah, I don't really know what he missed, but after knight c4, queen e1, I just have uh, have a mating attack and okay, the final 
combination was pretty pretty, pretty, pretty spectacular yeah. and it's actually very you almost had made on the board which uh, like yeah. I think uh, he resigned one one move before the mate mm -hmm. which is actually pretty rare I wanted to show one cute line so after Absolutely. rook f1 he could uh, take knight d6 I mean anything is winning but I just spotted this uh, Rook f4, the point is cf4, queen f4, g4, g5. Mm -hmm. And if he goes king g5, I have queen g3. So a queen sacrifice. Knight g3, knight h7, king h5, g6, and I made him one h6. <laughs> yeah, so that's This nice was thing. quite nice. Mm. But okay, what happened in the game was also pretty... Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, this is what happened, and then you just take on h3, and it's yeah. mate in one. Um, did you expect this game to go so well for you? It seems like you didn't really have any problems. You just uh, increased your your uh, advantage and then completely overplayed your opponent. Um, no, it's always nice to win a very very clean game. Uh, okay, I I was obviously not expecting it will go so well. I was hoping, but uh, but yeah, it went. Uh, today's game went very well. So now you're in a joint lead, probably, if uh, Nipomishi makes a draw, which looks like it at the moment. Um, so do you think plus two will be the, the result to win this event? Or you, you would expect uh, somebody to score more? You or perhaps or somebody else? It's very hard to say. I mean, it's still six rounds left and just depends on what happens in the next six rounds. But... But yeah, uh, so far uh, it has been plus two has been the first position. So, yeah. But going forward, are you willing to take more risks now that you're in the lead, or quite contrary, you'll just be more solid? I mean, it depends on the game and what my mood is. Uh, yeah, don't really have any particular plan as such. Uh, do we have some questions for Gukesh, uh, please? Uh, maybe Stefan or... Yes, uh, let's get the microphone. Okay. With a very tough loss two days ago, how did you overcome this? What did you do after this last game to reset? Yeah, uh, I... I mean, it was a painful game and I was quite upset for some time but okay i quickly recovered from it and uh, also it helped that i had had a rest day and uh, i mean in the rest day i didn't really feel any feel any negativity i i was quite uh, quite normal and i was just looking forward to the for today's game more questions yes please it uh, looked really smooth. Um, where do you think Vidit's exact mistake was? Do you think that it was taking too much time in the opening with this preparation? Was it this peculiar D4 move, or was there better resistance that he simply missed? Uh, I would say until bishop e6, rook e6, it was, I mean, black completely equalized, but OK, it's still just an equal position. But, uh, but I think his trouble started when he played b5. I already thought that was not uh, very, um, I mean, it should still be fine, but I thought it's step in the wrong direction. And uh, yeah, once I got knight bd7, I mean, d4 is a move you don't want to play in general, but also you have to stop knight c5. So yeah, I guess it was just a little inaccuracies and it just became uh, Huge, uh, huge problem. Do we have any more questions? So the question was, when yeah. he pushed c5, it looked a bit desperate. So what did you think of this move here? Yeah, I, I did not really understand. I mean, I'm sure he miscalculated something, but uh, I don't really know what what he missed. But, but okay, it's already. A, Maybe it's not losing position, but it's already very tough in a practical game. And okay, it's understandable that you, you're getting low on time and you want to have some clarity. I mean, if white just... Uh, probably the best way is to just play queen c2 and just sit tight. Uh, but okay, I mean, in a practical game, it's very hard to do it. 
Do you have any more uh, questions? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, after this victory, maybe you have reached the first the first place in the the tournament, and if of course it will be very very hard to to manage this situation because the, every every round will be harder than before. How do you manage this stress? Um, yeah, there's surely uh, surely some pressure, but. Uh, but okay, I've I've learned to handle it, and uh, so far I think I've handled it quite well. Hopefully, in the next rounds as well, I'll I'll be able to do a good job. Do we have any more questions? Thank you, Gukesh. Thank you.